Where's the clock vis-a-vis -vis our climate? Well, I was just at a meeting in, in Denmark where the uh, chairman of the IPCC gave a presentation uh, to tell us that, and, and I'm afraid it was not an optimistic report. Um, the, um, the science has only continued to get more clear and, uh, and that humans are causing climate change. It's happening now. And I think the important piece of this latest report is that continuously the science is trying to catch up with actually the rate of change. Mm. So we've systematically, because science is inherently conservative, we've consistently underestimated the rate of change, and that's, um, that's now becoming uh, more apparent. If you look at some of the most profitable companies on the Forbes list of the top ten, I think half of them are energy companies, BP, Shell, Shell's the top one, I think. Yeah, the, the energy business is a profitable business. In, in many ways, what an energy company is, is a expert at investing capital in a prudent way from the perspective of financial returns, because they need to have extremely long time horizons amid lots of uncertainty. So let's buy some stocks. Well, that was a good theory 10 years ago. Um, but this new uh, risk factor is, has entered into the horizon. And, um, uh, and, and we've actually known about this now for many, many years. The original research on this was actually done by the Potsdam Institute about six or seven years ago now, where they calculated that if we buy the scientific consensus that we need to keep the, the global warming below two degrees Celsius, that we would need to leave the vast majority of the already discovered fossil fuel reserves in the ground, not burn them. Mm -hmm. And the implication of that for any fossil fuel company is that their core asset that's on their balance sheet that values their stock is, um, is susceptible to a political action, uh, this term called stranded assets, meaning you will not be allowed to pump that oil out of the ground. Mm -hmm.